glorious it's in its engineering. The liftoff of SpaceX's super heavy Starship rocket that happened this morning. That's incredible to watch. This is the third time the private space exploration company has launched one of these types of rockets. The previous two attempts ended in a self-destruction explosion. Today's mission is to push its previous boundaries, reaching the upper stage of suborbital space before splashing down in the Indian Ocean. Let's bring in now CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood to talk more about the launch. So, Bill, the Starship was lost upon reentry. What do we know about why that happened? Well, we don't know much of anything about why that happened at this point. You know, one of the striking things about this launch is there was live video from the Starship up in space as it re-entered the atmosphere. You could see the, the skin of the spacecraft glowing cherry red as the re-entry heating built up on the craft. I mean, it was really quite spectacular. They were in that zone of peak heating uh, when they lost telemetry and they lost all the video. So the assumption is that uh, something overheated or something gave way uh, during the final stages of the descent and they lost the vehicle. They also lost the first stage uh, of the super heavy uh, Starship booster back uh, trying to get back to the Gulf of Mexico. But again, in both cases, those stages got much further than they've gotten in any of their earlier test flights. And SpaceX said they'll learn a lot from this mission, they'll apply it to the next test flight, and they'll get this worked out. And I guess that's why they've designed it this way, so they can repeat the mission, continue to learn, and push boundaries each time. Incredible to see that footage yeah. as it's, you know, falling apart. Um, what specifically, though, Bill, are they learning and are they picking up that will help next time? Well, first of all, the, the first stage, the big super heavy rocket, you got to remember, this is the biggest, most powerful rocket ever built by anybody. You know, the super heavy Starship has more than twice the power of the legendary Saturn V moon rocket NASA used to launch and its current uh, moon rocket, the Space Launch System. So it is truly gargantuan. So what they're trying to learn how to do is how do you manage all the engines required to do this? How do you get your software perfected to flip the first stage around and fly it back to a landing? That's the other thing about the Super Heavy Starship. Both stages are fully reusable. They want to be able to get them back so they can relaunch them again and again, vastly lowering the cost of space flight. But as we can see from all three of these test flights, including the one today, uh, they've still got some bugs to work out. But they get further each time, so the assumption is they're going to get there sooner or later. So what's, real quick, the future of the Starship program then? Well, you know, it, it's interesting. NASA is paying SpaceX billions to develop a variant of that Starship upper stage that NASA is going to use to carry astronauts down to the surface of the moon in the Artemis program. That's supposed to happen in the next couple of years. But first, SpaceX has to perfect this rocket, get it flying reliably, uh, and convince NASA it's safe to put astronauts on board. So SpaceX is planning multiple test flights throughout the rest of this year. They're going to continue perfecting this vehicle, and presumably sometime in 2026, they'll be ready to launch an unpiloted test flight to land on the moon, followed by one carrying astronauts. All right, Bill Harwood, thanks.